I figured I'd do a video on my uh, Dutchman Stereo rig rundown. Not everything's in place. This DAT player and DCC machine have both been repaired. Both need to do tape transport mechanisms, plus this one had a bad display. This had the tape loading mechanism replaced. Now it works again. Got the DVD, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1, turntable, PS2. Got an audio switcher down here. Got six inputs and two outputs. So you can decide like which stereo you want to send it to. I gotta make a label, but DAT is one, the turntable is six. It all outputs that stereo there. And then that drawer I'll show you in a minute. I got the eight track, I got another cassette player. This DCC will play both DCC and regular audio tapes. It's got two audio outputs. You got digital and analog. You got to use the digital output when playing a DCC tape. But when playing a regular analog cassette tape, you got to use the uh, analog outputs. This has the same. It's got uh, IEC Type 2, which I assume is digital coax. But yet, I'm playing a tape, but I can't get any audio out of it. I had to use, the, I had to use some uh, XLR to RCA adapters for the analog output. But I do have a this here is an analog to digital, not digital to analog, analog to digital converter. So I can feed a digital signal into here and maybe see if that'll work. Because, you know, I don't know why it won't output in digital. But at least it does play now. This DVD player is outputting via component, blue, red, white, or blue, red, green. And that's connected in the back here via this component switcher. Three. See the TV output is hooked up to one for input. In the back there. Along with the uh that mouse outputs and is out that uh, yeah. The TV outputs. The TV and that both output in that switcher, then that outputs down to the uh I believe the Magnavox, because I got the cable box hooked up into that too. There I can record off the TV. Down here, I got the CD player. That's hooked up. To the Magnavox, VCR, DVD recorder. That's the cable box, the Betamax. That's the stereo receiver. That's the power conditioner for your copy machines. I'll show you the wiring mess back here. Look at that. Rats nest of wires. Two different power strips. Not everything's on at once. Nope, not going to work now. Did we fail just that quick? There it goes now. So I can turn the stereo on for a second. See how fast Susan complains. That's all you get because Susan, as you see, is playing. For now, anyway. This is the DAT tape. So that's pretty much it on that. Let me move some stuff out of the way here and I can show you the other components that are in there. In here, you got the Blu-ray player, the 8-track, cassette deck, and the laptops. Those aren't hooked up. Those are just there for storage. 
But you got the cassette player, day track, and the uh, Blu-ray. Those are all hooked up to the system too. So, I gotta make a label so I know what components are what on that. Because some of them also go to the also go to this directly. So that's something I gotta figure out in the future. What does what? But this is one. This is six. This goes to two separate outputs via digital to analog. Because the stereo doesn't do digital. So I can figure out what inputs those are on that. So, yeah. So I got this to kind of organize everything on here a bit. Well, that's pretty much it on this. It's a quick rig rundown on my uh, bedroom stereo system.